Hello, welcome to the video. Um, we're going to look today at the latest version of Thermal, which has just come out for 1.15. So we take a look at the machines first of all. A lot of it seems the same, but there's a few ones which are different. So we're going to just go through the list here and talk about differences, and we'll try and like we'll just like think about some of the new stuff that's come out, and just try, just try and show a little bit, just because day one, you know. So we have the multi-servo press. So this we can put in the these dies. And what they're going to do is they're going to be able to turn. You can just place that in the bottom slot there. And you can make gears and you can make plates. And you make the coins. And then we have the blast chiller. Blast chiller is kind of interesting recipes. You turn honey into honey blocks, water into ice, uh, lava into obsidian. We've also got this the ball cast. So this may be an indication of things to come. Just make a snowball from water. And the fluid encapsulator can fill up bottles with honey, experience, or water. So there's also a special B block, uh, which is called the. So there's. So there's also this block, the hive hopper. And this is uh, obviously a 115. Carefully extract to extract products from the beehive. You'll notice, by the way, on the machines, if you look at the augments, the augments are all, it looks like the augment system has changed. So if you type in augment, you can see we've got these uh, resonant augment. I'm not going to go like into this too much, but I'll just like say like a basic thing. You can see there's 20,000 there. Uh, so you can see it's gone down 80,000 with that one. 60,000, you can imagine, right? And these are in integral components made in kind of like, sort of, kind of like a familiar way. Uh, there's also these things as well, which are called charges, I noticed. Uh, so you've got the earth charge, the ice charge, and the lightning charge. Uh, we can take a look at these. If we look at the... You can see you can essentially make stuff like dust and stuff. So if we do... Uh, the recipe for, the, for this one is gunpowder and coal, and then we take various powder from the different mobs, right? So that's how that works. Now there's another kind of like interesting thing with regards to explosives. So if we look at explosives, um, so if we look at explosives, you can see Inferno explosive, and we've got tectonic, we've got glacial, and we've got fulminating. Uh, and a good way, and you've also got this, this is um, from uh, thermal locomotion, so you can put the minecarts on there as well. Um, now, a good way if you want to actually use these explosives is to actually uh, detonate them remotely uh, using this thing, the remote detonator. So this we can switch between mode detonate, detonate or prime. So let's just take a little look. I just need to make sure. I think my sounds. Are, uh, yeah, it should be. It should be okay. The uh, noise, the sound. Uh, hopefully. Anyway. Uh, so you can see we're in prime at the moment. So you can see a prime, it turns yellow, we can then switch it. Yeah, there is something like I don't know if the sound's just not working or whatever, but anyway, we'll just show you the other these uh, these things very briefly. Just as just it's just an easier way of rather than just getting a lever each time, it just lets me do it a bit quicker. So we've got it primed. Oh, that one doesn't seem to work. I think this is this is probably not fully implemented yet. Prime, or it could just be that this part is not working properly. Um, yeah, that gives a chilled effect. Uh, you get a status effect from that. Uh, this one's really cool, though. Prime. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. There's also a whole new range of foods as well, which is really cool that have been added. So we've got barley, we've got corn, we've got radishes, we've got rice, we've got uh, sati root, spinach, bell peppers, a lot of very tasty fruit, aubergine, uh, green beans, peanuts, strawberries, coffee, hops, tea leaf, and even this frost melon thing, which I think is... Uh, so we've got a bunch of that. We've got a bunch of these crates, which have got all the different food types in there as well. Uh, we've got some grenades there. Fighter growers back. We have these these expanded things. So these are sort of like uh, 
things you can also put into the machines. So you can also put these in the augment slots. And that really, in terms of like the new stuff, I think that's kind of close to being most of the new stuff that I can see anyway. I, I'm sure I've missed a lot. I haven't really explained the machines that much. But Oh yeah, there is this thing, the Tinker's Workbench as well. Um, another thing as well that I completely forgot is there's actually got Appetite Ore now. Uh, and we've got various uh, rails and thermal locomotion as well. Uh, but this is this is the same button as the augment button, which is kind of interesting. It does seem like there's a lot of like changes to the way the augment system works. But yeah, I'm gonna just leave it there, just because it's like the first day, and I don't want to, you know, so many things will be added and changed. That I may as well just just for a little introduction there. So thanks for watching.